Hey everyone, it's Ritu. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about your imagination, about what you can add to your law firm to add value for your clients. Check it out. Before we get started, let's take three breaths together. So exhale everything. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. This month we've been exploring the theme of reset and rebuild. It's this follow-up to last month, which was when things fall apart. And from that place, we can reset our lives, our law firms, our identities as lawyers, and rebuild something that we're happy with. And so the previous episodes have been about renewing a foundation uh, with a mission statement for your law firm or your own law practice if you uh, work for someone else. And we talked about boundaries and how we want to interact with others. And we talked about procedures that should be dynamic and shifting. And we also talked about your character. It was a good time to return to yourself and see uh, if you are taking care of yourself in a way that serves you and how you interact with others. And today we're going to talk about your imagination. I love this word reveal because the imagination is already there. It's often covered up. It's a little foggy. It's covered up by stress and by doing and by all of the above things I just talked about, what we think we need to do for our law firm. And part of the rebuild is creating space for possibilities of what can we add to our law firms that's already there, that we've already um, played with this idea, but what can we do? So I've talked to a lot of lawyers and in different areas of law, and I just wanted to give some examples of what people are doing. Many lawyers are doing podcasts, so they may be doing Facebook Lives or um, on Insta doing videos and definitely you know speaking to clients, but also uh, speaking to other colleagues about different areas of law um, and what just politics, <laughs> whatever whatever is coming up for them. And so that's a nice service, a nice creative outlet. If you have a particular area of law where you want to be creative, where the legal system is not serving your clients, for example, I know a family lawyer who wants to create an education program for parents about, about co-parenting and about communication and how she talks about how the, the divorce process doesn't really allow for any of that education. And speaking of education, I've talked to some pub, uh, personal injury lawyers who are adding in financial advice because people are coming into a lot of money who may not have seen it before and don't really know how to manage it. So how are they doing that? I know immigration lawyers are often bringing in mental health professionals to not only be experts, but to provide support for clients. Uh, I mean, the, the, the possibilities are endless, right? What can you add to your law practice or just to the way you interact with clients, what can you add? How can you bring something of yourself that we've been talking about, part of this rebuild, to your clients? And this is, this is the revealing your imagination, right? And this might not even be to your clients, maybe to your staff. What is happening right now is a lot of law firms are approaching me about how to bring mindfulness, how to bring wellness and efficiency and productivity in a healthy way to their law firms. Uh, a lot of law firms have a meditation room, a quiet area, have flexible schedules. And in this rebuild, how are you going to do your scheduling? How are uh, your staff going to come back to work? And so my charge to you uh, this week is to reveal your imagination. And this comes from being quiet from being open, from being uh, strategic, allowing yourself to imagine. Yes, this may come from quiet moments that you're giving to yourself. It might come up in your meditation, but give yourself space 
And when you think of something, jot it down maybe. Uh, that's what I do for ideas for the podcast. And, and maybe you want to discuss it with people. But let these ideas and the imagination percolate because uh, if we can keep that, that activity, the idea activity, the imagination activity going, this will help your law practice. You will be able to more easily come up with ideas, come up with strategic answers to cases if you are in the habit of having an imagination and tapping into your creativity as opposed to just rote doing the same thing every day. And so this is an idea, just make sure you have things in your life, creative outlets and related to your law practice for how you want to serve, how you want to serve your clients, how you want to serve yourself. What kind of law firm do you want to have? Go back to that mission statement. What kind of person do you want to be? Go back to your own vision statement. What kind of boundaries are you going to set? How are you going to establish dynamic procedures? What ideas are going to come to you? So this idea of the idea of creating ideas is revealing your imagination. So with that, let's close with three breaths together. So exhale everything. Take a deep inhale. And exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Thank you so much. And as always, it's important to have community. And so I'm building a new billable hour community and we have a community membership. If you're interested in that, uh, please go to newbillablehour.com and click on the free library membership and upgrade to a community membership. And we have weekly calls and the ability to have ideas and talk to each other because that's so important. And even though we have so many gatherings as lawyers, I don't know if we have any where we can go deep like this and really support each other. So join us. Thank you. Hey, did you like that video? <laughs> Thanks for being here. So did you know you can get a free copy of the new billable hour, uh, the PDF or the audio for free on my website? Head over to newbillablehour.com. That's newbillablehour.com. Go now, right now. <laughs>